Hey guys, this is my summer brain quest, like I said in the introduction video. Look what you can do. Get ready for fourth grade. This is for people who need to learn. You get stickers. This is the 100% sticker. You get it once you accomplish the whole map. Oh, by the way, here is the map. You tear it out, you see? You tear out pulling here, not here. So this is the whole thing. You can, you get a sticker each time you complete something. See how I complete it's something? Writing, social studies, math, and science. You repeat that until it says level one complete. And then at the finish, you get that unicorn sticker. Also, it shows some more workbooks that you can do. Now let's, and you get a sticker every time you complete one. You get that sticker, got it. And it'll show different subjects at each page. This is math, this is science, this is social studies, and this is writing and that and that's what happens when you get level one complete you can go to a different place or you could just get that sticker you don't want to go over here because according to the map this is level six let's go where we should be this is where you'd find number one level one sorry and i'm going to get some stickers see it's right over here and it says and there we get it cool. these go to different places this is one of those and well you can go back it would take a new route like this is a short you can do it once you're far because it's like a break and you've worked so hard. Now, Dad said a five minute, well, introduction, so you can do many things. Yeah, that's good. Go ahead and do your homework, man. So, in the writing, you write about certain things that they want you to do or correct sentences on that topic. You can also do many other things like read passages, write things that need to be messed up yeah, or stuff like that, or thinking of what's gonna happen next. And in the local economics, also known as social studies, you learn about two new things, not two things. You learn about new things. Cool. And they're real life things, and it shows you things you should learn about resources. And this one is probably going to show something else in the next one. Okay. Now, this is science where you learn things that are new, but you get a little hint. Mm -hmm. And then it shows objects like testing to circle if you think the magnet can pull it or not. The passage will show that I'm not silly to think this and this is math right now it's rounding but soon we'll get to fractions multiplication and division and a lot of stuff like that and then it's showing the bonus question now i am going to start the brain quest where i left off before or after Match each prefix or suffix in the box with a root word. Then write the new word and its new definition. So here is how it works. It's asking us this. I'll read the brain box. A root word is a word before any prefixes or suffixes have been added. A prefix is a word segment that changes the meaning of a root word when added to the beginning. A suffix is a word segment that changes the meaning of a root word when added to the end. Bonus, fill in the blank with a suffix in 1947. Thor, yard, yard, doll, 
Thor Yeldal sailed a raft from South America to the Polynesian Islands to show how humans may have migrated across the Pacific Ocean. It was a long, long time anyone had spent on an open boat in modern history. Yeah, well, that's the bonus. Why don't you do the top part first? All right. So, underwater would make sense. That's what how it works, and that went along with the brain box. So, I'm putting underwater. Put the base word, and then put the next word to complete it. Water. That's how you do it. You see? It's in that sentence. Invisible would make sense. It's the opposite. <laughs> Dad, you having trouble holding that? Your hand's tired. No, it's okay. Okay. Believable. What does that mean? That's just unbelievable. <gasps> unbelievable. Un. Believable. Soren, really? What? Oh. Daddy, mm -hmm. is that a YouTube video? Agree. Yeah, it's part of one. I don't agree with agreeing. I disagree on agreeing. Mm -hmm. Disagree makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hey, I forgot something. <laughs> I'm going to do this on each one. So if you fast forward in on something, then you'll see. Agree. <coughs> Dis. Agree. <laughs> I'll just capitalize it because I want to. Power. Powerful makes sense. Yep, it can be buff. It can be after. It changes the meaning of a root word when added to the beginning. Or a reward is a word before any prefixes or suffixes have been added. Thank you. Right over here, suffixes have been added. Right over here, added to be the beginning. See? So you can do this too. Powerful, disagree, can come before or after. It's just a, a suffix or a prefix. All right. Now we're going to change it to over here. I'm so powerful. And then we switch back to as normal, where they go all the way over here. Of course. Sailor would make sense. So we're still, oh, <laughs> still goes over here. <laughs> That's cool. All right, sailor, sailor. Now possible, impossible. Now we go right over here. Where we find our word. <laughs> impossible. You can't write possible. All right. Cool. And now this is primary and secondary sources. Cool. Okay, well, why don't you say something like so that's an example of a brain quest. Uh, page. So and I think this should be fun for the summer. This is an example for a brain quest page, and I think this should be fun for the summer. And this is something totally different. See the symbol? It's different than the first one. 
Mm -hmm. So this is not the same thing. Mm -hmm. What happened here? Read each statement about the sea queen's stolen trident, then write whether the statement is from a primary or secondary source.